Hey, we're coming to you this afternoon to show you how easy it is to change out the Delron races in the Ford's Flex ends. We have two inch and two and a half inch sizes. Same procedure on both. Before we get started, let's make sure that you have the proper tools. You will need either our Forge Flex wrench or a pair of needle nose pliers. You will also need your Allen head wrench. If you don't have one of those, it's actually a 10 24th that's used as a set screw. Amanda will now take over. Okay, so we're going to take out the set screw. Again, all I'm doing is unscrewing. Then you're going to take this, apply it in the teeth, and it might take some willpower. You will do this until it comes completely off. And once again, you can use your needle nose pliers for this also. Spanner nut inside. If you'll pull this out, you've got your spherical ball, Delrin race. You're going to have another Delrin race. And a washer. So that is how it should look like on the inside. So now when you get your new parts from Rusty's, you're going to assemble it back together. This goes in first, which is going to lay on the ridge that's back there in the back. This, with the curved side up, goes in first. This, and the ball should rest on the curved side of that, of the Delrin race. Then you're going to put this in. Of course, you're going to put it in this way, and that's going to look like that, and it's going to be to the outside. Spanner nut goes back on. To make sure that you don't cross thread this as you're putting it back together. It should start very easily. Notice how she's hand tightening that with her hand. Need it to be snug. And I will finish tightening with this wrench. Once again the procedure is the same for both two inch and two and a half. This is going to be very, very snug. Once you get it hand tight, you are going to go one more click until you are able to get the set screw in. So she's now trying to actually line up the notch in the spanner nut with the set screw. You will insert the set screw back in. Once you get the set screw put back in, this should only hold a half a pump of grease. Mm -hmm. If it holds more than that, you haven't done something correctly. So you want to add your grease then, and it's as easy as that. And that's what it looks like when the set screw is completely in. Thank you very much.